So our favorite maid from Downton Abbey, Joanne Frogat, made it back to our screens with her latest BBC series, Sherwood. This time around, however, she took a role different than that of Anna Bates and transitioned into a campaigner wanting to become the local counselor. Did Joanne think about the reaction that she would get from her role in this controversial series? Let's find out. First things first, Joanne says she didn't think about it. Sherwood, a TV series based on two real-life murders that made Nottinghamshire Mining Village quiver in 2004, is a series far from the era-centric Downton Abbey that got the actress much recognition and fame. So, want to know what she thought when opting for the role and making a choice starkly different from her previous one? The kind and humble Joanne says, I honestly didn't think about it. She explained that you don't think about these things, but rather create a character to the best of your abilities. And we're bound to agree. An actor's job is to act and do justice to the character. Worrying about what people will think of them as a person just gets in the way. So, what was the challenge here? Talking about her experience while filming the series, Frogat was in awe of the cast, as star-studded as it is, and she really enjoyed the shooting. She was very drawn to the script and said it had much more meaning to it. While Anna had her heart in Downton due to her good nature and kindness, Sarah is totally different. She's well-read, an intellectual, and at her core, a politician. The role was no doubt meteor, her being the antagonist, and it was also a challenge for her. The character was not a likable one to begin with. Also, the series being based on true events had the potential to appear quite offensive to some, but Frogot powered through. She was determined to get it right and took the task head on. Of course, she had to put in quite the time and effort. Despite the events being quite famous, Joanne was only four years old when this incident occurred. The actress has stated that she vaguely remembers hearing about it through people and via TV, but nothing really sticks. To be honest, who'd want to remember something so morbid anyways? Let's talk about Joanne playing Anna. When it comes to Anna Bates, she's a hard-working woman employed at Downton Abbey as a maid by the Crawley family. Often overworked and on her feet, she wishes for a more favorable life. Life, but that does not keep her from being faithful to the family. And the way she handled the Turkish diplomat situation of Lady Mary, that takes some serious guts and a lot of sense of loyalty. Throughout the series, she goes above and beyond for the Crawleys, and always appears cheerful despite her circumstances. A selfless character indeed, which might have looked vanilla to some people but made her an integral part of the show, care and comfort were at the core of this character, and Joanne played it brilliantly. There's a reason she has a special place in her heart, and now seeing her as Sarah. Now, Let's get to Sarah Vincent, a woman belonging from Nottinghamshire campaigning to become the local counselor. What's special about this character? She isn't the type you'd always get along with. Opinionated with political leaning different from that of her community, Sarah really knows how to rub people the wrong way and is generally a frustrating person to deal with. In the show, we see that she takes after her father, a man who had not been quite popular with the locals. But that hasn't deterred Sarah from speaking her truth and doing things that she believes will be better for the community in the long run. While we see her being tough, rebellious, and sometimes pushy, there's another side to this character that only comes out when she's around her husband. We see her calm and letting her guard down, which shows that the character doesn't have a one-track mind. It's been written and developed quite realistically, allowing viewers to differentiate between her professional and personal life. Well, she's a fine actress, ain't she? Both the characters are absolute opposites of each other. One is a rebel, and the other tries to make sure everyone around her is comfortable and provided for. Not to mention, both of these women belong to completely different eras. The star, Joanne Frogat, has done an exceptional job at playing both the roles and has proved her mettle in acting. She started her career when she was only 17 years old. You heard that right. And we saw her in Bad Girls as well as The Royale Family, appearing as Anthony's girlfriend. While these may not have been her finest moments, the fact of the matter is that she is exceptionally talented. And when given a role which demands her to put her heart and soul into it, she did not back down. Joanne won a Golden Globe in 2015 for her phenomenal performance in Downton Abbey, while also receiving three Emmy nominations. Since then, her acting trajectory has only shot up. She got to play lead characters in shows like Angela Black and Liar, which may not have been very popular in mainstream, but performed quite well with the audience. While Sherwood is a completely new genre for the actress, this is what she said about playing Sarah. That's a fun challenge as an actor. As humans, we're all multifaceted and multi-layered, so it's interesting to be able to explore those layers in somebody that, when you read them on the page, you think, ah, okay, this one's a piece of work. Our thoughts exactly. We have to say, though, that as as happy as we are for her finding challenging roles, Anna Bates will always have a special place in our hearts, not just for the brilliant acting, but also because we really connected with her. What's your take on this? Let's move on to the latest news and updates. Downton Abbey 2? Let's go! That's right, folks, the second sequel is here, and fans can't help but jump with joy. The good news is that most of the original cast is back once again, including the folks from upstairs, Michelle Dockery and Dame Maggie Smith, while Joanne Frogot and Leslie Nicole returned downstairs, back to 
to duty. Some new faces, such as Dominic West, have been added to the cast, and he has admitted that joining the show at this point was quite intimidating, as people have established associations with other characters. We see what you mean, Dominic. Getting into the movie, it looks like the Crawleys are off to the French territory as they hear some shocking revelations from Violet. While we aren't really in favor of giving out spoilers, the movie reveals how the manor has been given to be used as a film set and how there's more mystery to Violet's inheritance. So much drama in a single sequel feels exactly like the Downton Abbey closure we all needed. Also, this one's quite the celebrated cast. Speaking of Downton Abbey, we do wonder what other characters who we have adored have been up to all these years. Have you been wondering the same? Well, we tracked them down, and you'll be surprised to know that Hugh Bonneville, aka Robert Crawley, was appointed as the Deputy Lieutenant of West Sussex. Well, we're sure he's doing a fantastic job. The man won two Emmy Awards for his role in Downton Abbey, after all. And let's not forget Jim Carter, aka Mr. Carson, the butler who takes his job with the utmost seriousness. We are so glad he's back in the recent movie, and it would never be Downton Abbey without him. His epic performance in the series got him four Emmy nominations. We'd like to get you in on a secret. We had the biggest crush on John Bates, a no-nonsense character with strong principles and a heart of gold, and Brendan Coyle did absolute justice to the character. He was nominated for an Emmy and a BAFTA for his performance, and we are so happy that he has rejoined the cast for the 2022 movie. We wouldn't forget Lady Mary in a hurry. Michelle Dockery was nominated for a Golden Globe and three Emmys for her incredible performance in the series. These stars have been on quite a journey, playing characters layered with depth and meaning. It had really been a treat for us all, and to be honest, we won't mind another sequel or two, or three. Coming to the magic that is Maggie Smith. Regarding the cast, mainly Maggie Smith was applauded going towards her car after the last shot. The movie director, Simon Curtis, said that they managed to make a passageway from the set to her car. Stars from the show acknowledged that Maggie Smith was certainly a force to be reckoned with as she inspired everyone to raise their acting game whenever she was on set. Elizabeth McGovern, aka Cora Crawley, also said that Maggie herself doesn't know what she does that people love so much. We all admire the effort she puts into the series. Well, don't let us keep you. Go on and watch the movie, which is available for streaming on Peacock TV or rent it via Amazon Prime. Just do not miss it. That's a wrap for this video. What were your thoughts regarding the new role adopted by Joanne Frogat, and did it live up to your expectations? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and press that bell icon for more videos like this. See you in the next one.